Hi guys, this is Grant Kuning here with another video of Sevium. Um, thank you everyone for your support. Um, today I want to show you more of the game. We're going to learn about um, some verbs and what these weird exclamation points are. And we're also going to uh, learn about polar questions and uh, if you don't know what a polar question is, we will also learn what that means um, today. So um, let's get into it. Um, where we left off, we were trying to figure out what the trapezoid means. And our answer is a bunch of stuff that uh, we can't understand. So uh, let's check our journal again. Here, hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, let's read this. I am clearly far out of my depth. The computer has produced a slew of symbols I do not recognize or even know how to produce myself. However, I will write them down as before in the hope that I will be able to interpret them later. And then we have them here, but we don't know what any of it means. It would seem that at this point I must pursue another angle of attack. I know I decided not to search for them further, but it occurs to me now that I might be able to ask where the inhabitants of the colony are. Any information would be useful, and any point of conversation is a vehicle for my study of the language. Um, by the way, you can turn these pages just by clicking on them. This will be my first input which uses a proper verb. My previous queries, all having used the zero copula, marked in writing by empty verb brackets. In this question, I will have at in my verb brackets. This may prove to be a, a source of difficulty. Um, by the way, if you don't know what the zero copula is, um, some languages do not have a word for is. Um, that means, so if I want to say um, he is a teacher, I might just say he a teacher. Um, in American Sign Language, the signs you would use for um, he is a teacher would just be he teach person teach person meaning teacher person being like the er suffix in english um, so there's no word for is at all in american sign language um, and this is kind of similar this language okay so we have this thing we're going to say we have a circle that means person then a rectangle, which means at, and then the pentagon, which we recognize that means what. And that's person at what. Um, this is, I believe, the correct way to ask, where are the people? There are two more concerns, however, in addition to what I have already mentioned. First, DTC, having as little grammatical inflection as it does, does not mark its nouns for grammatical number. As such, person and people are the same word. So this is person and people could go either way. Not having worked with such a language before, I'm a little confused as to how speakers would handle such a, handle a situation where the distinction were crucial. Secondly, I believe the correct way to ask where in DTC is literally at what, like this. However, as with many things, I cannot be confident in my translations. I suspect problems will arise from this inquiry. Uh, it is simply a matter of where. Um, okay, so this means where are the people, hopefully. Um, let's try and uh, put that in. So person here, remember where the circles are, second column. Then we have one exclamation point, and we now know these are verb brackets. And then we finally have a verb in between them. So we have uh, the rectangle, which means at. And then we have what? Person at what? Where are the people? Um, we can actually read this without even looking in the journal, right? Um, we remember the pentagon. That's what. And then the circle is person, right? So this says what person. Now let's look at the journal. OK. The computer's response was very simple, literally, what person. As I understand it, when what is followed by a noun, it has more the sense of which than what. 
However, I believe that which person is sort of a special case, where, which is the normal way to ask who. From the computer's response, I infer that the problem arises from my ambiguous use of the word person. Unfortunately, I do not know how to clarify. Perhaps I could rephrase the question such that I clearly mean people in general, rather than a particular individual. This is my attempt. So we have an angle, which means ask, apparently, and then a colon, which we haven't used before. And then we have person at this place. Of note is that this will be my first polar question. Up to now, all my questions have been nonpolar. When converting a statement to a question, DTC starts the question with ask, followed by a colon, and then it has the statement as normal. As such, the statement person at this place, meaning a person slash people are here, becomes are people here. Um, so yeah, um, polar question, that's the technical term for a yes or no question. And non-polar questions, that's like uh, who, what, where, why, when, how, those kind of questions. So um, in the game's language, to create a polar question in order to change a statement to a yes or no question, we put this on the beginning, an angle like that, and then a colon. Um, Chinese does something similar. It has um, a little word you put on the end of a sentence. Um, in English, we change the word order. Um, like here, we have people are here becomes are people here. We switch the order of the verb and the subject, which is kind of weird. Not a lot of languages do that. Um, anyway, let's try that. So the angle is over here with the lines in the first column, and then the colon. And then we want person at this place. Person, and then uh, verb brackets with um, at in the middle. Person at, and then this place, the dot and the square, like that. Are people here? Is anyone here, really? And a uh, very simple answer, just parallel lines. Let's see what that means. The computer responded with the parallel line symbol, meaning yes in this context. I'm not sure what to make of this response, though, as its significance depends on the interpretation of my question. I suspect the computer has me in mind in its answer. This is what I intend to ask now. Um, ask he me. Translation is he me. Um, and we see that um, he is a circle with a diameter, and me is a circle with the center. Um, and those are right here. And from that, you might be able to guess what the radius is. Um, so let's try that. Ask, is he me? So we're back to the zero copula again. Um, if we take out the ask, we would just say, he is me. Um, what was I going to say? Um, so our concern here is that um, when the computer said yes, yes, there are people here, um, maybe it was like, yeah, there is a person, which is you. But that wasn't what we meant to ask, right? We meant to ask, is anybody else here? Are there other people here? But we don't know how to say other or else. So we have to rephrase it in kind of this awkward way, because that's the best we can do. Um, if you've ever been to a foreign country um, without a strong grasp of the local language, you've probably had this experience before, um, having to rephrase something in kind of an awkward way. So um, is he me? Um, and now we have perpendicular lines. The computer has answered with perpendicular lines, meaning no. This opens many new questions, I think the most pressing of which should have been answered when I asked earlier about that mysterious name. It is the scope of this place, which we have been discussing all along. Is it this building, as I meant to ask about from the start, or the colony as a whole? Or could we be speaking on an even larger scale? If we are speaking of the immediate vicinity, I may have to relocate, or otherwise prepare to meet with the remaining tenants. I believe I should ask, where is he? 
hopefully the answer will shed light where it is needed. Um, I mentioned earlier that, um, or the journal really mentioned earlier that this language does not have grammatical number, so that um, person and people are the same word. Um, in this language, um, this also applies to pronouns. So the word for I or me also means we or us. And the word for he um, also means they. Um, these pronouns all, don't distinguish gender either. So he, she, it, that's all one word. Um, um, so yeah, where is he? We learned how to ask where earlier. Um, and we're not being told exactly what to input this time. So um, we know he, and then it's just where, which we learned was at what, with at in the exclamation points, just like that. Um, and that's all I wanted to show for today. Um, thank you again, everyone, for backing. Um, You've been very generous, and I'm very grateful for your support, and um, thank you for watching.